and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be going over the 12 p.m. Blitz offers. Remember, guys, this is the final full day. Pretty much a blitz offer, so this is the final 12 p.m. I believe we might have we have some tomorrow at 8 a.m. I do not know if we have another 12 p.m. 12 p.m. is typically the bundle, so we're gonna go over the 12 p.m. offers and the flashback cards because we obviously have more flashbacks. I decided to do that at 10:30 because then I have this video at 12, so it would have been like very short notice. So I'm just putting it all into one video: flashbacks and 12 p.m. offers. Hopefully, it's a little bit easier for you guys just to watch one video and get over everything. Two decent flashback names today. We obviously got to see their stats before we can really judge any of them, though. And thankfully, since we're not doing it at 10:30, boys. We should be able to find them on the auction block, unlike the usual. Now, guys, I want to just tell you guys now something real quick. I don't know if all you guys are going to watch this. I will be doing some kind of, like, 25 days till Christmas giveaway thing. I don't know how I'm going to format it yet. It might be, like, $10 gift cards. It might be coins. I don't really know. It's going to be every day, though. Starting from, <coughs> excuse me, the day after the Blitz ends. So, maybe not tomorrow. Maybe, like, Wednesday ish i'll start it and pretty much every day up until christmas we will be or every day for the month of december we'll be doing a giveaway or every other day depending you guys will know more as time comes and by the way guys you guys did not see over on twitter i did get some game worn equipment from the packers giants give me a stage want to throw that in here real quick i'm pretty excited about it we had front row seats in the end zone so at the end of the game Devonte adams uh gi alexander and tremont williams threw uh handed us some game worn equipment on the way out I believe one of the, one of these is Devante. I have to watch the video. It was all so fast. And it was me and my girlfriend and her sister. We got a bunch of this stuff. It was pretty cool. So letting you guys know. I believe this is Devante Adams. This is Jair Alexander's. And this is Tremont Williams. All game worn. You're going to definitely get this framed or cased. I don't care that I'm a Giants fan. You can't you can't argue with game worn stuff. It was pretty cool. Snow game too. So it's, you know, it's kind of a classic. The Giants suck. It's what it is what it is. But guys, real quick. Make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that on you well, boys. Comment down below. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Now, let's get into this video. I just want to tell you guys that real quick. I'm still pretty excited about that. It's pretty crazy. Now, anyways, going into it, go over to the store to see the 12 p.m. offers. So today, obviously, we already got the Blitz Bolts players. We got the Baker and the Reed. We got the, the final bundle today is going to be Game Changer Clutch Blitz Bundle. That's the final bundle. This bundle is decent. For about $50, it's not horrible. It's a decent bundle. It comes with four game changer packs, four clutch packs, a flashback, a heavyweight, and a veteran. So here's the issue, right? If you add up everything you can get, the flashback pack probably like 50k heavyweight. Let's go, let's go 50k across the board. If you get lucky, all 50k. So that's 150k. Max out of this pack, you'll probably end up pulling like 200 to 250k. That's why I say the averages. You end up pulling like 200 to 250k out of all this. For $50, it's not really worth it. For $50, I was able to get a Centennial pack that gave me more than 500k. The Redux packs, like I was able to get two Redux packs, a Centennial pack and some points and stuff left over and i got way more than a million coins so in my opinion game changer clutch bits bundle not really the best bet if you have left over and you i mean you might not have a choice right if you're down to like your, your last 7,000, 5,000 bolts for uh, lamar jackson or chris johnson you might have to just go send it and just do it anyways so that's kind of up to you guys and what you choose to do with whether or not you need that what i recommend it like i said it is a decent bundle if you have you have it and you need more bolts or anything this is the last day for pretty much everything the last 20 hour stretch for the blitz bundles for the Blitz uh, blitz Packs, the Harvest Blitz Bundle, and the Game Changer Clutch Bundle. These are the last things available as far as bundle goes. Clutch Packs and Game Changer Packs are decent at best. I'm not a big fan of the two. They're decent. Could you pull... And remember, guys, that's not the, the average I say is an average. It's not like, yeah, you, you can pull an LTD. It's possible. And you can make a million coins. But I'm saying, like, the average, like, if you're going to open this, go into knowing that there's a good chance you pull between 150 and 250k. And that's, like, good. That's, like, pretty good, actually, if you pull that much. So just remember that because the heavyweights and veterans and flashbacks, if you pull all the worst of each or even their ADH, you'll end up with like 40k each. So it could even be worse than it is. Obviously, if you pull the best ones, you could be looking at like maybe close to 300k, but the odds of pulling the best one of all of them are kind of unlikely. You know, it's not like it's not going to be the average pull. So that's just pretty decent. And then we also got the Blitz Bolts packs as per usual. We have the Blitz flashback pack coming out at 12. They seem to have been doing this in a sense where they kind of match the packs with the bundle offers. So, like, since it's going to be a flashback pack, since that's, like, a pack of flashbacks, heavyweights, and veterans, they threw a flashback pack as one of the individual packs. For 2400 I really don't recommend this pack. I'd much rather open a Legend Fantasy pack over a flashback pack any day of the week. I think that's the better bet to wait till that one at no, on December 3rd, which is tomorrow at 12 a.m., which, oh, tonight at midnight, actually. I think I'd rather wait for that one than probably spend my hard-earned bolts on that. Flashback pack won't be too great. Not a big fan. If again, if you need match tickets, do we gotta do right? If you're if you're 30 tickets away, open up everything because you're kind of running out. At this point, if you had nothing now, I think it'd be almost impossible to get Lamar. Let's see, 11 to 
to that's like uh 20 20 let's say let's just round that to 28 real quick and then if you open up all of these 28 33 40 mm, say around 70 Let's say we're at 110. Okay, so if you open up everything from here on out, you could potentially just make it. You would just maybe make it for Lamar. You might actually end up short depending on what you actually end up opening. You might actually not be able to get Lamar. Unless you, know, you have to buy a lot of these packs. You couldn't just buy one. You have to buy almost all of them. So I guess you could make it, but it'd be tight. Now, that's about it for the 12 p.m. offers. Let's head over to the auction box to go check out the new cards. The flashback cards. And what's opening right now? Oh, let's open up our A-Access reward pack real quick. Gold Team Fantasy Pack. Who do I want to pull from? Uh... Darren Waller, right? Can I? Can you pull Lamar Jackson? I don't think so, right? I'm gonna open up the Raiders, see if we can get Darren Waller. Let's open this real quick. Raiders gold player pack. And we get a silver. Silver, a gold. Silver, and an elite. Who do we get? 81 LaMarcus Jordan. All right, I'll take it, it's free. Now let's head over to the auction box to show you guys the new flashback cards. The new flashbacks today are Devonta Freeman and I believe Jordan Hicks for the Philadelphia Eagles. Not bad cards at all. Good names at least, I should say. I mean, I haven't really seen the stature, so I can't tell you they're good cards. But let's go see. Let's go over to... Are they 90, 90, Are they 92-93s this week? No, I think they're 91s, right? That's what, I, that's what I think they are at least. It's hard to keep track of flashbacks sometimes. Not the most exciting things. Let's see. Let's go on down to the new cards. Where are you, Devonta Freeman? So I do see none of the above. Where are these guys? I see Jordan Hicks. So let's start with him. 91 overall middle linebacker, Jordan Hicks for the Philadelphia Eagles. He has 83 speed, 88 excel. Okay, the excel is great. The speed's decent. 78 strength, 91 tackle, 87 play rec, and 61 block shedding, 85 hit power, 83 zone coverage. So hit power is okay. Zone coverage is really good. Tackle's really good. Play rec's really good. Excel's really good. Speed's a little low. So in my opinion, card's decent. Would I pick him up as my first, first choice user linebacker? Probably not. I think I'd rather have Devin White there. The zone's good, but if you're, you're probably going to want Jordan Hicks to be usered more than likely, so give or take. He doesn't have blocks or anything, so yeah, you definitely want to be usering this card, and speed's too low. I think I'd rather have Devin White, Ray Lewis, or one of those other guys. Not the biggest fan of this Jordan Hicks card. Does he have any other underlying stats? 78 strength. Anything pretty good. 87 jumping. Okay, that's pretty good. Not a lot of linebackers have good jumping. 80 impact blocking. 88 pursuit. Good stamina. And that's about it for that. Let's go check out Devonta Freeman. I do really like Devonta Freeman, so let's see if he has decent stats. 90 speed. Okay. You know, it's funny that they do that. Let me get off him because he's about to expire. That they give him a 90 speed because Devonta Freeman is not always known to be the fastest guy in the field. He's quick. So I like how they, like, it's just funny because they give Devonta Freeman decent speed when he's a quick back, not so much top speed. If I didn't give him better excel, maybe better elusiveness and stuff, but maybe not the best speed. But whatever, I'll take it. 90 speed, 89 excel. 92 agility, 83 carrying, 71 catching, 86 elusiveness, 83 tracking, 84 break tackle. I think his catching should have been higher. He's an underrated catcher. His carrying, I guess that's about decent. Agility's great. Elusiveness is okay. Trucking's okay. He's kind of like, this is a budget back. If he gets down uh, cheap enough, this is a pretty decent budget back. Decent Falcon Steam team back. He has good good athleticism and then all well rounded stats. Let's see his under the card stats, behind the card stats. 74 strength, 87 awareness, 83 carrying. Obviously, we saw that already. 85 jumping, 83 trucking, 86 elusiveness, 86 ball carry vision, 86 boom, 93 juke move. Okay, that's pretty solid. 73 stiff arm. Wish your stiff arm was a little bit higher. 91 stamina is pretty solid. And that should beat the press 67. That should be about an 84 break tackle. So let's go compare this with another running back. Let's go like Saquon Barkley. Pretty close. So speed is the same, excel similar, agility similar, carrying is way worse, catching is not too far apart. Losing this is similar, trucking is better, and break tackles a lot less. So it's kind of like a budget version of Saquon Barkley, a very budget version of Saquon Barkley. See Marcus Allen, he actually compares nicely to Marcus Allen, minus the carrying and the trucking. Ah, oh, the trucking's not the same. Okay, so very similar to Marcus Allen, which is pretty funny because Marcus Allen at one point was considered the goat of all running backs. So that pretty much wraps up all the flashback cards, guys. I think that's about everything for this week. As far as flashbacks, we covered that. We covered the 12 p.m. offers. Stay tuned for some more videos today, guys. And don't forget about the giveaway stuff. The way I'm going to probably be doing that is probably every... I'll say a few things every day per video, and I'll pull all the videos together. So, you know, I'll, I'll pull only one of the videos. So you got to make sure you're checking them all out to see which one's which. I don't know exactly the exact format or the exact reward yet, but I'll, I'll think about all that. I have a few days to do it. Um, probably about a day and a half, two days to figure that out. So stay tuned for that, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell, boys. Let's see how quickly it takes us to get to 14k, hopefully within the week. 
Comment down below what you thought of the Blitz so far. What do you think of these flashbacks? And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get this to 200 likes on a flashback video? That would be greatly appreciated. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next one. Peace.